you're having a nerdgasm in three, two, one. You're welcome. Gamers, what is up? My name is Vernon, and if you're not familiar, this is Gaming Bites, where we talk about the biggest gaming stories of the week, starting with... If you're not familiar, Street Fighter 4 has a lot of incarnations, Ultra Street Fighter 4 being the latest, and apparently it'll come with a bunch of new stages and four new characters, so that's an upgrade. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I can't think of it as an upgrade, I can't think of it as an expansion, I can't think of it as anything but a just straight up money grab by Capcom, I'm sorry. It's just when you've made the same game four times over and people continue to buy it, that's called pimping and I'm just, I don't want to be pimped. I've been pimped enough by this industry with microtransactions, DLC, what have you. I'm done being pimped, okay? So if you want to go ahead and buy Ultra Street Fighter 4, more power to you. It's just it's not for me. It's coming out early 2014, and if you already own Super Street Fighter 4 or Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, you can get this as an expansion for 15 bucks. But if you just want to buy the full game by itself, if you don't own the other two games, you can get it for $40. So there's something and if you're wondering what's up with that new game murdered soul suspect well it looks awesome and there's a 25 minute gameplay trailer that i'm going to put at the bottom there if you want to go check it out it starts in the most amazing way possible the main character is dead there's no spoilers there because that's how they advertise it you're playing as a dead guy and you're trying to solve your own murder now the bad guy in this throws you out a window and then pumps an entire clip of bullets from your own gun into your body just to make sure you're dead. Now that is a competent villain right there and I wish we had more of that in the world. I'm not condoning violence or murder or anything like that, but in a story or in a video game or something like that, maybe even a movie, I enjoy a competent villain who actually checks to see if their enemy is dead. And then of course finishes the job himself instead of sending henchmen. Getting back on track here, Ubisoft is announcing Far Cry 4. The reveal will be coming soon and all I gotta say is so soon? I mean, Far Cry 3 just came out last year, uh, Blood Dragon came out, what, late last year, early this year? And uh, it hasn't even been a year since the previous game was released, and that's... Wow, that's very soon, in terms of a release cycle for a franchise, or a series, or something like that. And Ubisoft just wants to stick to franchises. If it's not franchise material, they don't want anything to do with it. And I gotta say that there's a difference between making a core franchise and milking the hell out of it. And in one hand, I, ha I can't think of anything, and in the other, I can think of, what, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Splinter Cell, Rainbow Six, and Watch Dogs, which they're apparently going to milk the hell out of once it comes out, and then subsequently for the next 10 years. And the last time I talked about Ubisoft, I talked about arrogance a little bit, but this seems even more arrogant. Uh, we're only working on franchises. If it doesn't have franchise potential, we're not even going to start it. We're not even going to give it the time of day. I guess if you have a good game idea that's not franchise material, don't go to Ubisoft because they won't take it. The problem that I have with this, again, is that it leaves no room for innovation. They're talking about building core franchises, but Assassin's Creed is what seven games in now, and they're, they're now they're just focusing on naval battles, which screams all kinds of Assassin's Creed to me. I mean, you know, I don't know about you, but pirates and naval combat is what I signed up for Assassin's Creed for. Yeah, so I guess we'll just have to see what comes of it in the future and the other franchises that Ubisoft has in mind. So we'll see, but I, I really hope that Watch Dogs is decent enough to not, not only make me want to buy it, but stick with the series, because if it's anything like, oh, I don't know, the aforementioned Assassin's Creed, I think it'll be a problem. And if you like what you've heard here, leave a comment down below, maybe hit the like button, subscribe, share these videos with your friends, family, mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever, best friend, girlfriend, I leave it up to you. Otherwise, my name is Vernon Tuit. I hope you enjoyed getting to it. Much love to you all, and I'll see you next time on HoldTheLine.com.